and welcome to Mav TV. I'm Alec. Today's challenge is to give someone you love a hug each day. Uh, this is the event of the week was the varsity track and field districts on Friday at Jesuit and prom Saturday. Varsity and JV boys uh, and girls track and field beat Westview on Wednesday. JV boys 84 to 46, varsity boys 81 to 55. JV girls 77 to 41, and varsity girls 83 to 44. JV boys lacrosse beat Westview 10 to 2, varsity baseball beat Newburgh 11 to 5, uh, JV softball beat Jesuit 17 to 10, uh, varsity softball beat Aloha 7 to 2. At tennis districts, Arna Aurora got second place in boys singles, Arushi Aurora got fourth place in girls singles, both qualifying for state. Uh, Giselle Richki got fifth place in girls singles, Alexandra Vitruk and Navy Erickson won girls doubles consolation champions. Welcome to Mountainside's Musical Mix, where we help you find out what the students at Mountainside are listening to. This week's theme is music artist. Who's your favorite music artist? Uh, probably AJR. SZA, Drake. Ice Spice. Mac Miller. Uh, Tyler the Creator. Oh, I don't listen to music. And what's your favorite song by them? Um, Christmas in June or Burn the House Down. Snooze. Treated. In her mood. Scoop on heaven right now. I like Smuckers and Colossus. Congratulations to our seniors on prom court. They were all surprised this morning with the news they made it on court and they came back to school for a court breakfast. Here is our 2023 prom court. Stella Lee, Brian Johnson, Quinn Johnson, Isabel Yoon, Joelle Iasala, Anna Kim, James Richardson, Trisha Ganesh, Chloe Arbo, and Jet Gomez. All right, moving on. Mountainside High School Theater proudly presents a new spring production, the Brothers Grimm Spectaculathon, a campy and ridiculous romp through the fairy tales of the Brothers Grimm. See some of the more classic fairy tales, and a few you probably didn't know, told in ways you've never seen before. A dwarf as Snow White, Little Red from the Wrong Hood, princes roaming blindly through the audience, and more audience participation. Show dates are May 17th through 19th at 7 p.m. and May 20th at 2 p.m. Purchase your tickets using the website found in the weekly announcements or buy at the door. Seat your general admission so the earlier you arrive, the better your seat will be. Mountainside Theater also presents Yes And, the Improv Extravaganza, Wednesday, May 24th at 6 p.m. The Acting 3 slash Theater Ensemble slash IB Theater classes present the night of completely improv theater, made up on the spot by suggestions from the audience. Formatted similarly to Whose Line Is It Anyway, Two teams will compete for your laughs in a night of unpredictable comedy. There will be no cost to this show. Just come to the auditorium and enjoy the laughs. Mountainside Starry Night Prom is now selling tickets for seniors who have no school fines. Tickets will be $40, but it will be $50 at the door. And uh, also, Spirit Week is happening this week. Pretty awesome. Uh, and also, there's an assembly on Friday. We currently do not have enough junior applications, so applications are now open to current sophomores. Lee Crew Leadership applications are now open and due Friday. Lee Crew applications can be found in Reinhold's office, room 163, across from Leadership. Ready. Ready. Um, I would say what kind of got me started with baseball, I think, was just one, uh, a lot of my friends did it, and just kind of another opportunity to hang out with them and have some fun doing something athletic, and uh, then just kind of fell in love with the game and, and, and the good weather <laughs> when it's around. Uh, what do I look for in an athlete? That's a great question. Um, I'd probably just say, um, good character. You know, if they're a good person, usually it means they do the little things right, and, and when they do the little things right, it means they can do uh, the bigger things that we ask them right, you know. Um, so those, those are the real number one things we look at. <sighs> Rewarding part of being a coach, I'd say, is, uh, you know, when, when you try and uh, teach a concept or a skill, 
uh, and seeing someone fail at it at first and then fail again and fail again and eventually they, they get it and, and see them kind of overcome that failure and be successful, uh, that's kind of the most rewarding thing as a coach for myself. I like playing at dirt when I was younger. Uh, I would say my dad got me into baseball. He grew up playing it, so really got in me at a young age. I want to win the state championship and be Jesuit. Uh, I want to sweep Jesuit and play in the All-Star game. Uh, I know what I want. <laughs> uh, I'd say mentally, I don't let other teams get to me. <laughs> um, winning the dance battle my freshman year for the math challenge. Uh, making varsity my sophomore year. On Wednesday, May 17th, it was International Stand-Up Against Homophobia, Transphobia, and Biphobia Day. If you, if you see any discrimination, continue to um, report it and stand up against it.